Hello, good evening. My name is Catherine Hortas, and today I'm going to talk about a little bit of the tourists in El Salvador. Well, I'm going to start with introduce a little bit about El Salvador. El Salvador is the smallest country in Central America with 300 kilometers of ocean Pacific coastline. We have several lakes, rivers, uh, and also we have majestic volcanoes. We have reserves and national parks. We have archeological parks. Also, <clears throat> we have a rich and beautiful culture. Um, and we can show this in the well as known Pueblos Vivos. You can go, you can know a little bit about of our culture in every pueblo that you visit. Also, uh, I'm gonna mention this because we are celebrating this in the oriental uh, part of El Salvador, in the San Miguel city. We are celebrating the carnival. This is the second most known carnival around the world. The first one is for Brazil. And then we continue. So it's a really big celebration and we have parades, we have queens, we have different, in every little town we celebrate with music, when this goes and stuff like that. So it's a really big, a really big event and many people from other countries and also in, in from inside of the country travel to the to San Miguel to this time of the year to celebrate and enjoy the last month the last month of the year important to mention that even if we are the smallest country in Central America it's not a bad at all we have an advantage and is that you can tour El Salvador maybe within in four hours all El Salvador and also that if you want to be in a cold, we cold weather, you can be in a cold weather and then in two hours or one hour, you can be in the beach with very warm weather. And that's something really important that in El Salvador, you can enjoy whatever you want. If you want cold weather, if you want hiking, if you want to go to the beach, if you want to surf, we are a small, but we have a diverse and different kind of activities that we can do. And that's maybe the, the that's maybe why many people from different countries are traveling to El Salvador. Now that our tourist is growing, we are growing with it. Talking about that, we are offering more package, we are more adding more options, we are offering more things that before we didn't do. We have hotels, we have uh, tours to do, we have different activities to do, and we sell it in package, and that's good. Another thing that is a good point for, for us about it is how people treat the tourists. Uh, we are very warm, we are very welcoming to the tourists and that's what can make the people come back to the, to the country, you know? Um, and they see and they comment about how they are treated in our country. And that's good for us. Let's talk about the touristic places. I'm gonna start with the beach because I have heard that this is like really important or is one of the reasons how many American people are traveling to El Salvador is because of our beach. Our beaches are really <clears throat> have a, a characteristic that they like liked it. Um, our waves are really nice to them today to do surf. We have maybe the five most known or the better to do this kind of activity are the mango, el tunco. I have been there and also a, it's not just the, to do the surf thing. Is that in the, you can dance, you can drink, you can enjoy the night. It's like 
is always open <laughs> because of my it's like it is is a day so you can enjoy it surf the surf and and things like that also we have um i said mango right mango el tunco el sun salvish also a flores beach and i have one last but i'm gonna mention later uh, and the last one is Punta Roca. So now I'm gonna mention some touristy places. Um, I'm not gonna be specific in each of them, but I'm gonna try to explain a little bit about them. We have the lakes, like I mentioned before. We have the most known are like Alegría Lake, Suchitoto Lake, and Ilopango Lake. Um, they what they have is that they have a really nice view so for example ilopango lake is near of a volcano so when you go to walk or do hiking in the volcano area when you go when you are in the top you're gonna see the lake and you have a really nice view of it so that's a good point so I'm gonna talk now about the volcanoes. The most known, and like I mentioned before, you can do the hiking, is in Santa Ana. Our archaeological parks, we have several of them, and all of them talk about our cultures, our ancestors, Um you can see how they used to live in some of them. For example, Tazumal, there is the, like, the biggest, pyramid that we have in El Salvador, uh, San Andres, in Joya de Serem. There are some monuments that explain how they do agriculture before in those times. Also, we have waterfalls, really waterfalls, but they are cold weather. Um, we have Suchitoto waterfall, El Salto Antonio, Waterfall, Tamenique Waterfall. They are really beautiful, but like I said before, both of them um, are cold, the water is cold, but they have really beautiful views. And the last one will be Puerto La Libertad. This is a really nice attraction, has a really, uh, really beautiful views. And I know the government is working on it to make it, you know, more beautiful and attract more people to it so let's wait and see what happened and this is the end so i know there are many places that i didn't talk about because it's about could be small but they have many 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 places and really really beautiful places to know that even maybe if we live there we even know all of them but it's a, a nice country to know, and we hope that our tourists in, uh, grow and make more income to our country. That's it. Thank you.